all starts here. It all starts here. It's in your mind. You're going to change your mind. And then you'll change your life. I'm mailing. What's your thought? They become your words. Watch your words. They become your actions. Watch your actions. They become your habits. Watch your habits. They become your character. Watch your character. It becomes your destiny. The mind can be a particularly insidious and kind of convincing thing. You know, in the video where I talked about me quitting sugar for two weeks, you know, the brain can kind of make up all of these kind of justifications for doing it, you know. Like, oh, you know, it's okay, I can just have this one cookie and, you know, you've been so tired and you just worked so hard today. But if you just think about why your mind is convincing yourself to do that, it's because it's dependent on this cookie and on this hit that of sugar and these endorphins that it gets from eating the cookie to feel okay, you know, it's kind of reliant on this kind of thing. And, you know, the brain, a part of our brain really likes to dress up these often damaging short-term gains for long-term losses, you know, these feel-good hits, you know, the sugary foods, you know, the, um, the hookups and the, and, or even like porn and video games and movies and all these kind of things, you know, it's like, oh, it's okay, we can just do that. But then, you know, the hours whittle away and then it feels good while you're doing it. It's like, oh, this is great, you know, I'm just enjoying it. But then after a while, it's kind of like, uh, this kind of sucks, you know, like maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't, I don't really feel great about it. And, you know, now, now I'm just kind of feeling down and, you know, kind of sad and, oh, maybe, maybe I should have another cookie, you know? And like our brain just goes on to these kind of tangents. I don't know why cookie is always my example. That's just what I thought. That's just what popped into my head randomly. I don't know why. It just keeps coming up cookie. Anyway. But often the truth, the simple things in life that are most important to us, that are most important for all our kind of fulfillment and for dealing with life, you know, is unadorned, it's plain, it's not dressed up, it doesn't look nice, it isn't really sexy or beautiful or anything like that. It's just kind of plain and simple, you know, it's just like if you want to build a habit, just start small. It's like atomic habits, you know, start very small. Just start with like five push-ups or whatever. And it's like, oh, that just sounds boring. That just sounds silly. Like, why would I do five push-ups? But it's so that you ingrain in your brain this feeling that you associate with the exercise and that you just can easily do it. And then it's kind of like, oh, it's easy to do five push-ups. And then you do that for like a month and you're like, wow, I've been doing five push-ups every day for a month. And that's kind of insane, like I've never done that before. And then it kind of slowly over time reinforces your belief. Like if we look out to nature and we see how it grows, we don't see trees growing very fast. But if you come back after a few years, you see, whoa, like that tree is growing massive. And we look at kids, you know, it's like, oh, they, they don't really look like they're growing up over the weeks. But then you don't see them for a year and it's like, boom, all of a sudden they've just had this big growth spurt over these couple of years or whatever. And it's all these little factors that play into these natural growths. And that's how we should see our life. And I like to think of like when you're filling up a sink, you know, you can just stand there and watch it. And it's kind of like, shh, oh, come on, shh. You know, it just seems to take a while. But that's what, those things take a while. And that's kind of what life is. And you know, lots of natural growth in our life and these sorts of things take time and they take effort to kind of overcome these beliefs, these patterns that we want to change and move towards a more positive direction. You know, because we have to be really wary of the things that are instilled into us, the beliefs and patterns that are instilled into our minds. You know, the, all these patterns that we have, like these negative thoughts, like, oh, you know, I don't want to do that. I'm not, I can't do that. And all these kind of initial thoughts that come up into our mind that are just negative. And this quote that I heard the other day was just like, kind of, in, kind of shocked me because I never thought of it like this. An inner voice is always an outer voice absorbed and made our own. And when you think about it, we're all influenced by the external environment and we really relate to other people. 
and growing up we're quite impressionable and we learn a lot from parents, from our friends and these sorts of things and our siblings. But if they say bad things about us then sometimes those voices get lodged into our brain and we believe that we are actually not good enough, that we actually can't do these kind of things. And that's a very sad kind of way to live, you know, it's just putting us down, it's continuing maybe our bad habits and that sort of thing. And it's holding us back from the success that we want from life that we would prefer to have. And to change, you know, it takes time. It just takes these slow little growth patterns and movements, you know, cultivating better positive voices into your mind. And yeah, to do that, I'm also in the next video, I'm going to have another video that's kind of like a meditation kind of belief things. Anyway, you'll see it and it's kind of like just instilling a positive mindset into you and yeah. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.